All right. So we've looked in the arc of today's show. We've looked at reactions to the Tuesday debate from Republicans. We've looked at reaction from Democrats. We've heard from Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who, after endorsing Trump, said Trump lost the debate in every way. There's just no way whatsoever that you could look at that and say that Trump won. We've seen Trump's reaction to the debate with regard to the punishment he wants to exert on ABC News, which is they should lose their license. But now, what is Trump's view about the substance of the debate two days having gone by? Well, there's a little bit of a conflict. I want to start with some of the things that Donald Trump said on Truth Social. Truth Central. Donald Trump posting yesterday, quote, and today, people are starting to give me credit for having a great debate. The voters and voter polls showed it, but the fake news media wasn't giving the credit that was due. Now they are seeing the results with independent voters, evangelicals and more and saying, wow, remember, I wasn't debating one person. I was debating three. They should fire everybody at ABC fake news whose two lightweight anchors have brought disgrace onto the company. Trump continuing to post to Truth Social about this, where he says, quote, she lost the debate last night. She lost it because the onus is completely on her. She's the one that one third of the American population said they don't know where she stands on things. They don't know enough about her to support her or make a decision about her. So the onus Trump, I guess, learning the word onus minutes before posting this. So the onus is entirely on her to make the case as to why people should trust her and she failed to do it last night. Charlie Hurt, Fox News contributor. Trump is like the kid in Little League who, after days have gone by, shows up to school and says, no, we won the game. We really did because the umpire called the wrong strike. It is pathetic and childish. But if Trump really believes that he won, which he claims to believe, he should want to debate her again. He should want to debate her to defeat her again, to give himself an even bigger advantage in November, right? Well, apparently not. Trump saying when you win, you don't have to debate again. Huh? No, we're looking at it, but you know, when you win, you don't really necessarily have to do it a second time. So we'll see. But uh, we had a, uh, I thought we had a great debate last night. Thank you very much. What would need to change for you to agree to a second debate? Would you want different rules? Would you want a different format? Well, you know, when you when you don't win, it's like a fighter. When a fighter has a bad fight, gets knocked out, or loses the fight, the first thing he says is, "We want a rematch." So we won the debate according to every poll, every single poll. I think that uh, are we going to do a rematch? I just don't know. But we'll think about it. Would you still do the one on NBC on September 25th? You, you that. Are you still yeah, to I, would, that? I would do NBC. I do uh, Fox too. I do Fox too. But right now we have to determine whether or not we even want to do. It. We had a great night last night. Now there are reports that are characterizing what Trump just said. I would do NBC News or Fox. There are reports characterizing that as Trump agreeing to debate on September 25th. That is not at all the impression I get from what Trump said. I think Trump is saying that in some theoretical sense. If he decides to do any more debates at all, he would theoretically agree to one on NBC or Fox if the rules are to his liking, if the moderators are to his liking. Remember, he said earlier he doesn't want Martha McCallum or Brett Bayer moderating on Fox. He would want Sean Hannity, Laura Ingram or Jesse Waters moderating on Fox. So I don't hear that as Trump agreeing to a debate at all. And my prediction is I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope that there is another debate. My prediction and expectation is that Trump is not going to do another debate because even though he's publicly saying that he won, we have extensive reporting that people around him are actually telling him that didn't go well. People around him are panicked about the possibility of another debate. We're going to talk about that on tomorrow's program. But when Trump says when you get knocked out in a, in a boxing match, you immediately say, I want a rematch. Sometimes that happens, but sometimes you get knocked out and you say, my career is over. I can't do this anymore. I don't have what it takes anymore. And you retire. So even Trump's assessment on that certainly leaves a, a little bit to be desired. We have a fantastic bonus show for you today. We are going to talk about Elon Musk seemingly threatening Taylor Swift with forced impregnation. 
This guy is out of his mind, out of his mind. Cuckoo. We were we are also going to talk about the record ratings for the presidential debate earlier this week and also about the follow up to NFL player Tyreek Hill being pulled over now demanding officers be fired as usual. People arguing about who was in the wrong. Was everybody in the wrong? We're going to talk about the entire Tyreek Hill situation on today's bonus show. So I invite you to sign up at joinpacman.com. You can use the coupon code Save Democracy 24 for a discount. And also do not forget that my forthcoming book, The Echo Machine, is available for pre order at davidpacman.com slash echo on Amazon, Barnes and Noble. Bookshop.org, Audible, Apple Music Books, Podcasts, etc. Anywhere that ebooks, audiobooks, and physical books are sold. Forthcoming update on the number of pre orders. I will see you on the bonus show and I'll be back here tomorrow.